Unitron telescopes manufactured between the early 50s and early 90s are best known for their high-grade optics and craftsmanship. The history of Unitron is somewhat vague, but a mere 50 to 100 are believed to have been made. Castleton University's observatory houses one of the three in existence that are accessible to the public. Unitron telescopes, manufactured between the early 50s to the early 90s, are best known for their high-grade optics and craftsmanship. The history of Unitron is somewhat vague, but a mere 50 to 100 are believed to have ever been made. Castleton University's observatory houses one of the three in existence that are accessible to the public. Out of the three publicly accessible Unitron telescopes in the world, Castleton University's is the only one that boasts its original parts, making it an extremely unique item. This has a six inch objective lens in it, which uh, back in the time was the largest uh, size lens that they made for a telescope of this design. And uh, there were only a few of them made, mainly for universities. Uh, this whole thing weighs about 775 pounds, so there's a lot of, a lot of material here. We met a guy at a uh, trade show down in Suffern, New York a couple years ago that's a history expert on the Unitrons, just made as a retirement project, is the restoration and preservation of the Unitrons. And uh, we spoke with him and we found out just what a rare item we did have here and how special it was and uh, that kind of gave us a little extra push to uh, finish the restoration. We were like 98% there and just some things we needed to finish up and we got those done. And last year we were able to open it up to the public and um, had a lot of good uh, sessions uh, bringing the public in. The Green Mountain Astronomers Club, with the help of Castleton University professor Jillian Galley, is working to set upcoming dates for public viewings as well as to further integrate the telescope and observatory in the university's curriculum. We definitely have several ideas up in the air that we'd like to pursue. We would like to see more of the students and more of the immediate Castleton community making use of this, this great object. Uh, in fact, since our most recent published story, I've gotten quite a few emails asking when is the next observatory uh, viewing night and so forth. We've started stepping up, as Patrick mentioned, over the past summer we success, they, I should say, I sort of came in at the middle to the end, uh, held a very successful series of viewings organized directly after the Castleton Summer Concert Series. So participants would hang out, check out the concert, stream back this way, check out the stars. Uh, since then, we had a few viewings during the fall semester, and I look forward to trying to squeeze in two viewings this spring before the students disappear again. But we're still working on enough interest to have something like, say, an astronomy club, or trying to figure out a way to incorporate it more regularly in our classes. We've also talked to the art department about maybe doing something with that great big white canvas that's just sitting there to draw a little bit more interest in, and ownership, perhaps, in this really nice treasure. To keep updated on upcoming observatory events, check out the Green Mountain Astronomers Facebook page.